King101 here, and today we are going to be giving a new show a shot. This new show is going to be called, unless you guys can come up with a better name in the comment section down below, because I have done no real research for this show besides researching whether or not this topic already exists. But the show is called Pitch It. Pitch It. it. Like pitch, like batter up, and it. So Pitch It. What is Pitch It? Pitch it is when I or other people who I may have guessing on the show, depending on if you guys like it, take an idea from comic books, typically. Sometimes we may pitch like an anime movie or something like that. Like, I may get some people and we may just pitch one day like a Naruto movie or a Evangelion sequel after End of Evangelion. Basically, just for us to just take what stuff we like and pitch a story about it. Today, I wanted to start off with something easy and something I've only done very minimal research for, which is basically me making sure the topic hasn't already been done. I mean, it's a comic book topic, and I wouldn't want to do this whole video pitching this whole thing and then be told, Oh yeah, they did that book in the 40s. Go read it. And they get a DC, so you know DC. Like you would think there wouldn't be a book about Superman being a communist, but there is a book where Superman is a communist. You would think there wouldn't be a book where Batman kidnaps Robin and makes him eat rat, but there is. You would think there wouldn't be a book where Wonder Woman, where Superman becomes a porn star, but there is. So, you never know with these things. But, okay. What is the topic of today's pitching? Today I'm going to be pitching a story where Superman, aka kal el Krypton, lands on the female-only island of Themyscira. Now, I want to get off, right off the bat, the obvious option of them finding Superman on the ground, on his ship, looking at him, and going, Ew, it has a penis. You! Dump it in an orphanage in Man World. Bye, baby boy. No, like, in this universe, something happens. Somehow they figure out this is no ordinary baby. This is not some kid they lost. This is a special baby. They figure out that he's not human and that he is more powerful than all of them combined by far, or at least he will be the most powerful being probably in the universe, like, that he will become Superman. So they figure that out. And uh, in this universe, I'm changing things up a little bit, but in this universe, Superman arrives in like, the same kind of time period he always does, which I believe is supposed to normally be, like, 30 years before present day. He's around 30. And I'm like, let's just assume, like, but I'm not doing anything just the Superman we all know. It isn't, like, a specific version of Superman. Is it just... Superman. Regular, this is the regular crap. Like, no new 52 nonsense. It, it, it isn't like a crisis reboot. Just think Superman. Don't think, like, is this the Superman from Party Crisis? Post Crisis? Is this the Superman that, like, was post Crisis and then came over during Convergence and then the other Superman from U52 died and then. And then they came back to life, and then they merged together, and then... No. We're not touching that. It's too confusing. This is just Superman. Red trunk to that guy. But like a baby. But though they really like he's not normal. But in this universe, Diana, a.k.a. Wonder Woman, a.k.a. the Princess of Temascara, is a regular baby in the sense that she is born... The same, around the same, basically at the same time Superman crashes, so they grow up together. Like, she ages normally. So, in this, she is immortal, but she's like Superman. She's born, and she'll age normally until, like, 25. Until, like, her current age in the comments, and then she'll stop. But, like, she grows up alongside Cal. Alright. Alright, so she's not a big sister. They're just, maybe she's a little bit older. Yeah, maybe she's a little bit older. Maybe she's like four when he's a baby and he has like a big brother basically. Like really Actually, you know what? Now, that's boring. That's been done before. They're the same age. So they're like childhood brother, sister, cousin, whatever, buddies. And they grow up together. Now, next elephant. 
Do the Amazon train Superman. Well, in so okay, so basically, let's talk about the only time we've ever seen something involving Amazon Kryptonian training that I that I know of. Okay, so there was a book from the early 2000s. I want to say 2003 through 2005 called Batman Super Superman. I believe it's Superman Batman. Oh yeah, Superman, Batman, Supergirl. Ba okay, so basically, um, during Lex Luthor presidency, there was a book when Batman and Superman teamed up. The most famous one is probably the one that got adapted into a really dope live-action movie. It's really good. It's called Batman, Superman, Public Enemy. It's, it's them dealing with President Lex Luthor, and it's awesome. So, okay, so basically, this is what happened. Supergirl died in, in Crisis on Infinite Earth. Supergirl died. She was killed while helping Superman and all of them and all of the conversions of Superman by the Anti-Monitor and Supergirl died. And then DC was like, wait a minute, hold on. So our character of Superman, our, our, our big... At this point, uh, this is like the late 80s, I'm pretty... Superman was their most popular character. Like, this was before Grant Morrison came in and... Frank Miller came in and wrote Bizarre Night Return, and then like 20 years later, they wrote Tower of Babel, and then at some point, Frank, uh, Grant Morrison came in and was like, no, Batman is God. Batman is God. Like, they go before Bat God. They go before Grant Morrison came in, and Grant Morrison then. And then before Scott Snyder came in and wrote, like, some of the best Batman books ever, like, in a row, like, Court of Owls, Endgame. Batman Eternal. Ha! Huh. No. Um, Black Mirror. I'm Scott Snyder. Dark Knight Metal. Batman Who Laughed. Batman Grim Knight. Oh, I'm Scott Snyder. Like the who out before all that. So, Superman was the most popular character. And they realized, isn't it dumb that, uh, Superman had, like, it's the last son of Chris. I'm like, that's Superman's M.O. He's the last son of Chris Tom. But then they're like, but then there's Supergirl. And Chris Tom is Superdog. And the Super Pig. And the Super Horse. And Superman's other cousin. And Supergirl's father. And Da. And these other Kryptonians. And that guy. And that guy. Oh, look, they're Bob. Like, what the hell? Way too much stupid bullshit. Like, way too many characters that nobody cared about. So they, they, when Universe got rebooted with Christ on Infinite Earth, the multiverse died, and they were like, enough. Superman? And eventually, they are like, he gets to have a dog. That's it. And they're like, this is dumb. This is stupid. So they, they got rid of all that. And they're like, no, that's dumb. Okay, so what did they do next? Like, how, well, how did they follow that up? They immediately realized, eventually, that people like Supergirl. And people didn't want all their nonsense, shape-shifting, alien bullshit. Like, no, this shape-shifting alien. She blonde, and she called herself Supergirl, and she, like, met, and she, like, mimics stupid and powers. Like, no! I want, like, Superman's female cousin... 16 years old, Kara Zora. I want Supergirl. And then they're like, fine. Here. In Batman Superman, Supergirl. A great book. Where Batman and Superman find her. And eventually, Superman takes her to Metropolis. Where Wonder Woman attacks them and tries to kidnap Supergirl. Yeah. Because, because obviously, in the Superman and Batman book, what we need is for Wonder Woman and Superman... Have a dick metric contest over over who gets trained the 15 year old foreign girl who just lost everybody she ever loved. Obviously, that's what needs to happen. So, Superman and Wonder Woman fight and they argue over all this reason. And Wonder Woman convinces Superman that what Kara Zorel needs is to be trained by her because she knows a thing or two about training and Incredibly, incredibly powerful female form. So, they suppress interest. So it's not like they wouldn't teach a Kryptonian. 
the question is, would they teach Superman? Because it is incredibly possible that they would just say, he can live with us and he'll be a member of a family, but we're not teaching him our secret way. Those are only for badass uh, Amazonian females. Like, no. He's a man. He has a penis. Like, we're not teaching him that. No. Not possible they could do that, but wouldn't that be boring? Like, why? The only possibility that they realize this man is going to become God. He's going to become, like, the most powerful being in the universe. Next to, I guess, and you want to argue, Dr. Manhattan. Like, and I'm for, like, Dr. Manhattan, there isn't really anything in the DC universe currently that I know of that exists that, like, far outstretches Superman to the point where they can just, like, you know, where they can actually... There is no one in the DC universe that can easily beat Superman right now that I know of, besides for maybe some pre-crisis nonsense, which is, like, so even then, Superman was moving plot time change around planets and pulling them around, and Batman was having sex with alien women. Like, who cares about pre crisis But, and I, for a little kind of thing, like, Dr. Manhattan maybe is a stretch, but overall, not much is a stretch to Superman. So maybe they realize that, and they're like, okay. Like, we have this little girl, Diana, we're going to be teaching. We can't teach him the same way, because he's a man, his body is different. But let's teach him, like, let's help him learn. Let's use our knowledge of, like, be, you know, Amazon, like, Wonder Woman can fly. Wonder Woman is super strong. Wonder Woman, in some form of media, has fought Doomsday. Doomsday. She has fought Doomsday. So, Wonder Woman, so Superman, they so Superman, who I think they would just call Cal. I don't see a reason, considering he wouldn't be a secret. To change his name. So Cal and Diana will grow up t together. Cal and Diana will grow up together. So Cal and Diana will grow up together and they train and they'd be awesome. And it would just be a really cool, really fun story. So but basically then comes the question. What happens later on? Like, first of all, I, do, I think Superman would just leave on his, would just start leading on his own. Yeah, I think Superman would, uh, they could at least, going off of Superman Red Sun, an idea presented in Superman Red Sun, which I really like, basically in Superman Red Sun, Superman travels around the world. He's like a force of the Soviet government, but he also, like, goes to Japan and stops the feeding train. Like, but then, but the globe and the daily planet falls off. So Superman shows up and catches it and stops it from hitting Lois Lane. Like, Superman is still, like, I'm Superman. I'm a force for good. The idea is that outside of, um, outside events, like, outside of, like, Superman being, Superman will always start out good. Superman is inherently, inherently a good person. Until he is forced to be otherwise. So, like, Superman, like, Injustice Superman started out as regular Superman. Then Lois died, and he was trapped into murdering his pregnant wife. And he went crazy. The idea, though, is that Superman is an inherently good person. And I think, I think I would apply that here, too. So, Superman would probably leave eventually. Not, like, leave, like, go away forever. But, like, he'd just start going on trips. Like, he'd be, like... Well, I can fly, and yet eventually, first of all, one Superman going to realize that he grows older, and he's the only man on the island. And even if they tell him that, it's going to start affecting him in a way. Like, he's like, I'm the only person here. Like, that's going to start affecting him. Okay, then, I'm the only male here. He's going to start noticing that. He's going to start craving to, like, be around other men. Because, they, because, you know, he wants to, like, be around her men. How they would, they would affect... Stop it. Okay, by the way, Superman would still like women. Like, you, if you want to get into in the comments whether or not they could affect his sexuality, I'm not a psychologist. I don't know anything about sexuality. I don't know how that would work. But, so, so the purpose of this story, I'm just going to go with, like, Superman's still the same dude. Like, he still likes girls. 
the purpose of this idea because otherwise you're getting into a whole realm of like deep like real world psychology and stuff sexual psychology stuff that I don't have the credibility to talk about. So in this, let's just assume stupid is the same dude. Okay. So I imagine stupid is, but I imagine some of the women on the island there would be no interest aside for maybe Diana because they aside for Diana they'd all be like mothers and aunts because they're all way older and it would be really weird if he felt interested in them. So the only person he may have any interested in is Diana, which even then, he wouldn't because, you know, they kind of grew up like brother, sister, cousin. So like, it would be like if you have a friend that is the opposite gender, like, but you know them, like, literally every day. Like, you, you meet them before you're even one year old. And you've known them your entire life. You would not look at these friends and go, Oh yeah, I like that person. Like, you're more likely to be like, this is my buddy. When you view that person that way. So if one woman so I do believe eventually Superman would be like, you know, he start flying off. Like I don't think he would he wouldn't become Superman, but he would start like going to Metropolis and checking that out. And remember, this Superman would be trained. I'm just saying, I do believe they would train Superman. So this Superman would be trained in, like, the ways of the Amazon. Like, as I was saying earlier, I do think once they realized how powerful Superman was, they would train him. So, Superman, they may not train him the same way they would train Diana, as I said earlier, because, you know, different forms. But Wonder Woman can fly, she's super strong, she... Wonder Woman! In some form of media, had gone toe to toe with Doomsday. So they would teach Superman how to be a badass. Because Superman is a badass. Like they just would do it. So basically, what, what they would do, or at least what I hope they would do, is they would teach him, you know, combat. Like, what the difference? Okay. The big difference between Wonder Woman and Superman, what separates Wonder Woman from being Superman with boobs, is one trait, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat, like, Superman kinda just punches. Superman's a brawler. Like, sure, he has a super brain. Superman has many powers, one of which is having a super brain. He could blur every form of martial arts in, like, a week. Probably in a day, if he really wanted to. But Wonder Woman has expert training in hand-to-hand -hand combat, in, like, swordsmanship, in bow and arrow, in weaponry. Like, she, she's good. And Superman would now have, like, this would be a Superman that could wield, like, a god-killer sword. It would be awesome. But Superman also in this society, I don't think that Superman would kill. The as I stated earlier, I believe it's definitely based on, like, other elf world works. A stupid man is inherently a good person. He is. Like, inherently, at his core, Superman is a good, is a good, I'm gonna say human being, but he's not a human being. Is a good, is a good person. He's a good guy. And I honestly can actually see that being a big conflict because there's more of an emotional connection. Like, him and Wonder Woman, in, 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 in like the regular DC continuity, meet when they're adults and they're colleagues. So it's like you disagree with the way your friend at school solved the math problem. You're not gonna care. But this is like different. Like they've known each other their entire lives, so I could definitely see Wonder Woman being like, "Oh, I'm the oh, hi, Lex Luthor, chop." Like, chops off Wonder Woman, chops off Lex and Dead, and it's like, what? Like, I solved the problem, right? I I don't understand. Like, he he did something bad, so I decapitated him. Isn't that a problem? And you're maybe like, yes. I can definitely see the Amazonians, especially Wonder Woman and him, having this, uh, this argument. The yeah, Kal El or Stripping A would be like, no killing. And Wonder Woman would be like, Screw you, dude. You're not the boss of me. And we'll go kill somebody. It's been established in the comic. Wonder Woman kills people. Which actually is an, an on and off problem she had with Batman. Because uh, Batman doesn't like it when Wonder Woman kills people. But Wonder 
Wonder Woman kills people. <laughs> like, Batman does not like it when Wonder Woman murders people, but he does it anyway. So, uh, yeah, so Batman kills people. Not Batman. The Wonder Woman kills people. Three had a problem with it. I think eventually Three Man would just leave. I mean, just like fly off. He'd start going out into the distance. And I do think eventually he would meet Lois. So he'd let's be honest with ourselves here. Let's just, let's step back for a moment and let's be honest here. The difference with this Superman, in my opinion, would be that I think while he wouldn't be a killer in general, like, I don't think he'd be like, let's kill Lex. I do feel he'd be more like he wouldn't have a problem with killing somebody who was a threat. Like, he wouldn't be like, 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 what if he has Superman that's like, no, no one dies. Like, he wouldn't be like Batman. Like, Batman would hit like, Superman would be like, why don't we kill the Joker? Like, he would be like that. He'd be the same person who's like, we're not killing Scarecrow, Batman. But, Batman, why don't we kill the Joker? So I think that would be interesting. But so I think Superman would probably hang on to... He'd probably hang on to the world, but he wouldn't become Superman. No. But I think the enticing Superman incident that made him become Superman would be Steve Trevor. Steve Trevor would arrive and would be like, Come on, Wonder Woman. Come on, Princess. And he'd be like, well, I thought that there were no men here. And then Superman would be like, well, I'll come. And him, him and Steve Trevor would probably end up becoming really good friends. Because Superman would be completely ignorant. But not for, like, having flown outside a couple times. Superman would probably can be, be completely ignorant. To, like, the outside world. So, Superman would show up. Superman, Steve Trevor, and Wonder Woman would leave the mascara. And they go into the world. I think Steve Trevor, Steve Trevor would basically become Superman's best pal. Like, Super, Steve Trevor would be the new Jimmy Olsen. We get a book. Steve, Superman pal, Steve Trevor which doesn't sound nearly as good. Like, Superman pal, Jimmy Olsen. It's like a classic, just like, Superman favorite gal, Lois Lane. Like, those Superman girlfriend, Lois Lane. Like, we're still, we're still doing like, but Superman pal, Jimmy Olsen, screw Jimmy Olsen. Like, it would be Steve Trevor who would be a pal in that. And he would, and he would be better, because he would be like a Superman. He would be kind of be like, uh, if you remember seeing Spider-Man Homecoming, he'd be like Ned Leeds to Peter Parker, or Miles Morales in the, in the Baldwin universe. He would be a guy who knows who Superman is, and who is friends with both parties. Like, he's he, he just friends with Superman. Like, he doesn't like Superman, and they just be buds, because, you know, they're men. You know, they try to like his third guy, whatever man he's never been friends with. But they go out, and I honestly think Superman, because Superman would be aware that he's more powerful than the average person, because by the time Superman is 18, he's probably going to be the strongest person on that island. Like, he's probably going to be, like, far above Wonder Woman. Far above Wonder Woman's mother, far above everybody. Like, he's going to be a god. And eventually, they would obviously tell him. Like, they'd be like, you probably noticed, probably not when he's young, they probably wait until he's like 12 or 13, and he's like old enough to understand. They definitely wouldn't tell him until, until, uh, Wonder Woman, until he starts to realize that he's, de like, until he starts to realize he's a penis. Like, until he starts to realize he's not a wick, he's different. And then Boston Island by being a man. And like, once he starts asking questions like, you're all girls, I'm not, what's going on? And then they would have to explain to him, okay, to be sound you in this ship, you're an alien, your name is Cal El, you're Cal El, your name is Cal El, but your my name Cal El comes from a thought that you're from this dead planet called Krypton. And according to this ship, being here will grant you extraordinary abilities. They explain it to him, and, and then eventually, also, the Fortress of Solitude, because, like, it could be, like, the Crystal Fortress. Would it be there? The Fortress of Solitude would be in the ocean. Like, it would be near Samascara. It would just be the... It, it wouldn't be... In fact, I it would be really cool would be, like, a couple miles away, a couple hundred miles away from Samascara, just in the middle of the ocean. It's just the Fortress of Solitude. And it's, like, everybody knows it's there. It kind of, like, in the comments, like, 
I don't think the Forms of Solitude is necessarily a secret, it's just that... Why would you attack Superman's house? <laughs> like, why would you do that? It's a really bad idea. Like, so, uh, Superman beat all of us. Let's, uh, let's attack it out. Let's attack, let's both attack God and try to beat him up inside his house in heaven. Like, it would just be really dumb. So, what I think, I think it would just be in the middle of the ocean. It would just be near San Mascara, and it would be really tropical, and it would be a really cool place. But so basically, um, I think Superman would eventually find out, and he eventually comes to realize he's really powerful. But I think because he's around all these people, and because they have this issue with men, it may be possible that Superman may not like hurting people. Like, he may be afraid. I can think of him that he would, like, develop this, like, insecurity, this fear, like, if I hurt people, they'll make me look like, if this is his family, if he's always ever known, they won't want me there, like, they won't let me on San Mascara anymore if I go around and become some psycho to beat people up. So maybe Superman doesn't like fighting, he's, he, like, he's afraid. But eventually, so he would go on a mission with Steve Trevor, whatever it is, be it being involved in a war, whatever it is. And there would be a moment when Wonder Woman, who was incredibly powerful, it's something happened. And Wonder Woman is being outgunned. Either she's outnumbered by like super powered individual because Wonder Woman's good. She's not Superman. Like, she like she couldn't defeat five people. Like, five super, super strong super villains that one. Like, she's not a god. Like, she's a god. Like, she's like, you know, she's not Superman with unlimited power. So eventually, um, Wonder Woman would be in a, in a past. And Steve Trevor would be like, and Diana would have told Steve Trevor, and she'd be like, I know you're powerful. And you gotta do it. And Superman would be like, you're right. And he'd go. And you know, it wouldn't even be Wonder Woman. Okay, this is what would happen. So, Wonder Woman goes off. Like, she has to leave. See, they're in the middle. They're somewhere. And Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman goes. She's she going to do something. Maybe she's, like, getting... Maybe she's, like, getting getting new clothes. Because, like... And with that was in the Wonder Woman movie. Wonder Woman is a psycho. Who, like, wanted to, like... Would try to walk around like Metropolis in like battle armor with like a sword and a shield. Like, I let's fight. Like, no. Like, so I have a feeling like they would probably go. Superman would get close. They would. They would probably do what they split up. Like, Wonder Woman would be like, "Oh, money, you think? I'm not an idiot." Like, the Wonder Woman movie makes her look like an idiot. Wonder Woman isn't stupid. She'd be like, "Oh, with the." Oh, so this is what women wear. Okay, I'll go get that so I don't look like a ter like a crazy psycho in a battle armor walking around the city with a sword. Because that's what I look like right now. Like I'm half naked, wearing battle armor that makes you look like a stripper with a with a sword in one hand and a shield in the other. Like I'm ready to murder somebody. <laughs> like I don't want like I I I don't want to piss off your government. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll get, like, a t-shirt and some jeans. Like, I'm sorry. Am I, am I scaring people? Oh, I think I'm scaring people. Okay. And I'll see what goes. You get clothes, do all that. And then what would happen is Superman and Steve Trevor would go up on their own to get, like, throw them, like, a suit or, like, a t-shirt or anything that isn't Whatever the hell he would be wearing, which would probably be really weird. Then think about it, like, does anybody on that island know how to make clothes for men? Like, I'm assuming they're intelligent, so I'm assuming they could, like, figure out how to make clothes for Superman. But I can totally see it being, like, he, like he's just wearing something that makes him look ridiculous. Like, he's wearing, like, the top is like a man's shirt, but the bottom is like a battle skirt. Like, they have 
no, I ain't been on Tyler Holy Women his whole life. So like, and, and they're like, Leslie, we don't, like, we don't make love for, we don't know, like, like uh, people in the camera have no idea. So Superman probably looks like an imbecile. Because, like, they're probably, they, they, they are aware men and women wear different clothes, and they're probably trying to make him look like a regular human being. But they're also probably, because, like, he ain't Superman, so he has, like, a Superman body. Like, yeah, because I knew that. David Stout was a Superman comic. Superman had a super body, a super brain, super muscles, super memory, su super hearing, super vision. Superman just a super guy. So like, he has like a, a Superman body. And they're probably like, well our clothes don't fit him. And they probably make him something ridiculous. So Steve is like, you both need clothes. So they go and they get Superman clothes. And this is where you would meet Lois Lane. Because they would go to Metropolis. They'd be in Metropolis. Uh, Diana would be off. She'd be like, no, Steve, I'm an adult. I can figure it out. You and Superman go get clothes. Have fun. Like, I'll just ask. Like, I can just ask somebody. Like, I can figure out how to get clothes. So, no, Steve would go off. And I... And, I would go personally for something classic. A plane. Wonder Woman's away. Remember, Wonder Woman has many powers. Super hearing is not one of them. So Wonder Woman's just in a storm, like Oh. So, so wait, what do you mean Mr. not made of metal? What do you mean I can't hide my I can't there's no pop, dagger containers in it. What do you mean I can't kill? What do you mean I Oh, what do you mean I need to pay you? Can I just kill you? Because, yeah, I would be like, one woman is a psycho. But one of them would be off being a psycho, trying to get clothes. So then would be with Steve Trevor trying to do the same thing, but with Steve Trevor there, to be like, No! Again, like, yeah, you have to wear this. How am I supposed to fight in this? It's all tight. I know, it's called a suit, you asshole. But no, so that would happen. And they'd be doing that, and a plane was start crashing. Classic plane cat. However, in this version, the plane is heading to the lowest lane and walking down the sidewalk. She had, she had Jimmy Olsen behind her. They're on an investigative report from the Daily Planet. Because there are rumors about... Because there are rumors about this, 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 this man... We have some sort of combo between we have the, between male and female armor. Like he's wearing like an armored skirt, but like a man a, a men's armored top. And they're like, this is weird. And then they hear also about a woman walking around like half naked in armor. And they're like, what is going on? Let's go. So they're trying to figure it out. They're walking up the sidewalk. The plane is going for lower. Superman and his suit. So in his suit, so the, the, the plane is on it went in Metropolis, and he's like, you gotta do something. And he's like, I don't want it. And he's like, yeah, I do. But he's like, you shouldn't let them know who you are. Because, you, because you're an alien. Like, you don't want people to know you're an alien. You don't want people to know who you are. Where you come from. It could put, it could put them with Kara in danger. And, and, you, and he's like, it could put them with Kara, one you and all of them in danger. And he's like, good point. So he used his super speed to make a Superman costume. Because the Superman costume is modeled it's modeled after like Kryptonian clothing. Like it's a very Krypton style outfit. So based on things he had seen from the recordings in his ship, he would make a Superman costume and then he would do it quickly. And then he'd fly up and then he'd, you know, Superman out the door. And then, the plane is falling, and it's about to hit Lois. And the man goes in, and he catches it. And, it, and it, it, it's the same image of the man holding something above his head, with Lois beneath him, where he's like, awkwardly, he's still, he's still, he's still, he's still Superman. He's still, uh, like, he's, not, he's the first time he's ever spoken to a girl that isn't an Amazonian. He's like, hi. He's super awkward, he's like, hi. 
and he leave. He, and he put the plane down, he makes sure everybody's okay, and then she said, what can we call you? And he's like, you can call me Superman. And he's like, call me Superman. And he leaves, and she's like, and of course Lois Lane is being like, I'm a lover. So he gives up the whole thing, and the Superman and Lois Lane. It's supposed to be this thing, like, no matter what happens, Superman will always love Lois Lane. I gave him a new 52. But he didn't love Lois Lane. But the new 52, the one time he didn't love Lois Lane, he died and was replaced not only by a Superman who loves Lois Lane, but a Superman who had married her and had a kid. <laughs> so obviously, not loving Lois Lane doesn't really work out for him. The one time he tried not doing that in continuity, he died and got replaced by a Superman that married Lois Lane. <laughs> so obviously that would happen. And then I think he would just go on and be like, well, and then of course he would be Superman. And there could be an interesting universe. I think that could really be explored in. If you really think about it, like, now you have a Superman, and you could, like, tell the major DC story a second time with a Superman that is very close, familiarly, to Wonder Woman, and also knows Amazonian-style fighting. Just imagine. Okay, imagine this. Like, years down the line in this universe. Not in the real world. Just in the universe. Like, we skip around. Like, we get to the future. Like, we skip around, like, but that big story would be majestically forming. Which I can imagine would be pretty similar if that Superman and Wonder Woman would, like, arrive together. But the, 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 the first, like, arrival in Metropolis story would end with Superman becoming a... How do I write it? Superman, like, being, like... He wouldn't become a reporter on the Daily Planet. I think what happened is Superman would, uh, just be Superman. Like... I don't think I'll read. there would be no reason he would just live with Wonder Woman. Like, Wonder Woman would be the ambassador to, would become the ambassador between Themyscira and a man world, and he would just live with his, with, with, basically with his sister. He'd just live with her and be Superman. Be like, not like, one, not like Wonder Woman, like, Wonder Woman didn't really have a secret identity. Like, it was just like, I'm Superman. My name is Kal El Krypton, I'm Superman. And like, the only thing they would do is they would hide. He'd probably come up with a Clark Kent like this guy. So when he goes out with Wonder Woman, he had like an issue. And they'd just be good friends. Like, they, they wouldn't, because you can't be like, oh, this is my brother. This is, they, they, they can just stay the dirt. Like, they're good friends. Like, they, they're like, really your best friends. They can just stay that. But, like, he needs to read them in Wonder Woman, of course. Because the world doesn't know Superman grew up on them with Gary. That's a secret. That would be the secret, and that would be his secret identity, though, know, would basically just be, like, for hanging out with, like, Steve Trevor and Wonder Woman. For hanging out with them. But the time for that, he wouldn't, like, work at the audience, hang out with his, with his basically, his sister and, like, be super mad. But through that, and basically, the Justice League Force, all right? Think about it. The Justice League Force! But then, like, the thing, you got the classic Hal Jordan, Flat, Wonder Woman, Martian Manhunter, Shazam! Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman. And then, and of course Batman goes. And then of course you're gonna have to be like, Batman's the only member of the Justice League who knows. And Batman could go to Superman, and he could be like, do you think I'm stupid? Like, you're, you know, he could just be like, by the way, I know there's some stuff like Like, I forget, like, but like, just, by the way, I've known about Themyscira before you and Wonder Woman showed up. I'm the first superhero. I, I would prefer one of us to come out. I've known about Themyscira for decades. I've known about Themyscira for years. I know you and Wonder Woman are from. I know you're, ba you're basically, you and your Wonder Woman are basically brother and sister. I know you love her. I know everything. I know different Krypton. I'm Batman. And that could be a great moment when Wonder Woman's different is like, What the hell? What the hell, man? And he's like, Oh, by the way, uh, Kryptonite Ray, Pond. What the hell is that? Oh, that's Kryptonite. What a Kryptonite. It's ball. I see it can hurt you. Why did you know that? Because I've been studying how to kill you for years. Wonder Woman, Pond. <laughs> but no, like, you can do some fun stuff like that. Just imagine that. Imagine Doom. Imagine Death of Superman. 
but Superman is like going in with like Amazonian fighting style, and he's like flipping Doom Day, doing like martial arts. It's a, it could be so cool. And I think it's actually something that I didn't really talk a lot out here beyond like what I would do with it, but you could really get in to the Superman Wonder Woman relationship. In that, and it could it could be a lot of fun, but real and I think you could just really take it anywhere. It could be a lot. I guess it, I get the back way. I get it kind of like this is a, I, I feel bad saying this because it's a shitty thing to compare it to, but it would be kind of like fight like the Frank and Mill like the Miller verse. And it could be like the S Superman Stemascara verse or something. It could be like the verse where Superman. Went to her, went Lena to Macara, and then it could just be like that every couple of years they're gonna publish the set, and you could just put out them like a story, like a story, like one singular storyline, or that's like origin, or like origin to everything up until like him becoming Superman in Metropolis. You could do justly formation, like five or six issues making a trade. You could do Doomsday. Make it a trade. You could, you see what I mean? You could do like, you could do all those events. Then you could start doing non Superman books. Like, you could do Justice League Tower of Babel, but focused on it from the perspective of Superman and Wonder Woman in this book. Like, you could see, to redo different uh, events with this new version of Superman and Wonder Woman. But that was just an idea I was throwing out. I think it would be a cool thing to explore. But this is basically what piss shit is. I think next time, depending on the topic, I'll try to bring on a guest. Because I think this could be a lot of fun if we can get, like, a guest. Be it on the pro Maybe, like, real person. Like, maybe we may have to get, like, a real person in, like, in on the show. It probably wouldn't be at night. I'd probably like, bring, bring the camera somewhere else and we'd film it somewhere else. But, uh... It would be like, you know, us pitching something else. But, um, yeah, tell me what you thought of the comment, of the, the video, the comment section down below. Tell me if you have anything you would like to add to the idea of Superman and what if he landed on Stem Mascara. And one last guy, like the video if you enjoyed. Tell me what else you would like to see from this show in the comment section down below if you liked it. Also, if you have any other names that you think are better besides pitching, now you've seen us see uh, what the series or show is like. And also, please, I implore you to give me, if you want to see more of this show, other things you would like me to do while I pitch it. I have my own ideas that I'm going to do, but I would also sprinkle in your ideas. I wouldn't just want to be like, your idea, your idea, your idea. Then I, I don't want, I, the show can't sustain on just you like giving me ideas. I have ideas, you guys have ideas, and if something when you guys give ideas, I'll try to get somebody else on, and we can bounce off of each other. Yeah, based on this first recording, I do think that would do better. I have no idea how long this video is. I think it's pretty long, but I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I have, uh, I'm trying out the green screen here, because I know I couldn't edit the video. I knew it wouldn't be something I could edit, because the pictures don't exist. So I figured I would just sit in a chair in front of the green screen and I would put the thumbnail behind me. At least that's how I'm looking at doing it. Hopefully the green screen works and the lighting wasn't enough. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like it if you did. Tell me your thoughts in the comments, all that. You can also follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description box down below. And below outside, have a great day. The Nerd King 101, signing out.